In this video I'm going to use the pole lathe to turn a small cherry wood bowl using first of all the mandrel that I made in an earlier video. Put that into the cherry wood blank and tap it home. Then we go out to the lathe, offer it up onto the lathe, measure it up, move the poppets in so that it fits, and it all runs smoothly, that's nice. A little bit of oil, just to help it run more smoothly. Wind the rope round a couple of times. And check that it all works. For ball turning we use a special kind of hooked chisel called a, a wood turning hook. Which we've got very long dirty handles for good control. Here you see just starting to true up the bottom side of the blank there just to make sure that it's all running true. And when that's all done we just start to curve over the bottom corner. We're working on the bottom side of the bowl here, working from the outside. Change to a different view here and see how the hook is just starting to curve off the bottom face of the bowl now. Producing much finer wispy shavings off the cherry wood. Here you can see the hook as you use the side of the hook to bite into the wood to just take that fine, fine wispy shavings off. different hook, a long cranked hook for reaching into slightly different angles. And here we're 
just started to shape the bottom, the bottom of the bowl, the foot that it will rest on when it's eventually standing. drop more oil on both ends. From this angle you can see that the bowl blank has a little cherry wood collar glued onto it to help the mandrel hold it in place and ultimately that will have to come off and we'll show you that later on in the video. Putting the chisel rest in place starting with the long cranked chisel starting to hollow out the bottom just through up the face first of all to get it nice and flat You can see the inside just beginning to take shape now. And also, the boss that the mandrel is stuck into is just starting to be chuckled away. We've got to chisel away quite a bit of that before it can be eventually broken off. So that's been chiseled away at the same time as hollowing out the inside of the bowl.
of angles and you can see the hollowing out continuing and the whittling down of that central boss just so we can get the chisel in and keep taking more and more wood out of the inside. view of the use of the cranked bowl turning hook just shaping away at the inside face of the bowl three grades of sandpaper and 80 grit and a 120 grit. The 120 does quite a lot of the smoothing off of the, the major bumps. smooth finish we use a 320 grit really fine sandpaper and that's it for the lathe work and now if you look at the next video you'll see how we take it into the workshop and finish it all off and polish it <laughs>